Hello. Hi, how are you? Ew. Why did I say that? <sighs> Who's ready to get red for hell? <laughs> Hello, Roy. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for partnering with me on this today. I really, really appreciate it. I'm very excited. I've never had a psychic reading before, so you're popping my psychic cherry. <laughs> I am. Well, I love popping a cherry, so it's always Ooh. a good time. Let's just put it okay. that way. <laughs> so the first thing that I want to touch into is um, currently there. Okay, so I feel that you are in a situation right now where you are in a partnered relationship. Can you understand that? Yes. Okay. They're bringing me to an initial with this individual. Would you understand that the individual would start with the letter N? Yes. Okay. So as I feel into this situation, I want to also say that there's a lot of significance with, I want with this month, with this individual and with you and this individual as well. Can you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I just want to know if this number means something to you. I am getting a number 14. Can you understand the number 14? I can try. <laughs> um, okay. uh, uh, maybe. Okay. I feel like the number would have to do with the connection with you and your partner. Can you understand how the 14 would be significant? Um, maybe vaguely sort of. Okay. All right. Uh, let me, all right, but the number 14 is still Oh, popping. no, actually, I'm sorry. My friend just brought up. I did, we did just celebrate our 14-year anniversary. <laughs> okay. Whoopsie. Because I'm hearing in the background, and I'm like, girl, there's like, the 14 is like coming here. It's like coming, <laughs> coming, coming. I know that's important. Yeah, you know? and we also got number 14 in the Thodacy thought list of like. Oh, of my like, God. Yeah. So there you go. So there's so much relevance yeah. now with the number 14. So there's more than, more than right. one meaning to that. So <laughs> I'm like, that. no. No, I don't get it. I don't um, get it. The number 14, what that means is that your loved ones and your angels and your and your spirit, uh, your heavenly people in spirit are around you, okay, and that they're encouraging you. So that number is very, very important um, for you, especially right now with everything going on with COVID and everything. So just take time to listen to them, all right? Um, they might send you signs, you might hear things, you might see things, just know that, that, them, that's that, that is them acknowledging that they are around you. Now, I, I wanna say that I feel, um, okay. Can you understand that your whole life, I'm getting another initial here, so I wanna go with the letter B, okay? And, I'm, right. and if you see me looking down, it's because I'm writing, because I have to write too yeah. when I'm doing this. Um, the, the initial B. Can you understand the initial B? But I don't think it had to do with the person. I feel like your whole life, you might have lived somewhere with an initial B. Like from when you were like born all the way through to now, like the town has always been like a B, 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 B. I keep hearing Bs. Can you understand the initial B with a yeah. location? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I grew up in Brookhaven and I went oh. to Belport, Belport High School. Okay, perfect. And now I live in Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, there you go. B, 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 B. Okay. All right. Um, this is um, him or, because I know I have your grandmother with me. For some reason, I'm being brought to something specifically. Can you understand? All right, first of all, um, there's a lot of information here. Mm. All right, I know that you have a love for doing hair because you do a lot of wigs, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, would that have been something that you would have known or you would have seen? I feel like you would have been brought up or grown up around that a lot. Can you understand that? Yeah, my uncle was a hairdresser. Okay, so I feel like that's definitely coming into play here, and that's where you're getting that background. Um, I feel like you would have gone to the salon with him, or you would have watched. Would you have also gone to yeah, the salon all and been the time. helped? There was okay. there was a uh, for a while he had the salon in the house, but he had owned salons before that, and I we, we were always there. We grew up there okay. basically. That makes a lot of sense because I feel like you would have watched him. You would have been in there. You would have helped, or you know, it, it just would have been like definitely like a partaking in the situations with him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm also being told right now, for some reason, I don't know why to bring this up, and I hope you can understand this. It's my favorite flower. I love roses. Can you understand roses? Um, because for some reason, they're mentioning roses or yeah. red roses. Can you understand red roses? 
yeah, my uncle um, was like big into gardening. He was a horticulturalist, and he okay. uh, and like his like favorite was roses. Okay. Oh, that makes so much sense. Okay. That was like his password. <laughs> oh my god! That's for so like, okay, but I'm getting like there's almost something. Um, I feel like you're you're so I'm getting that your uncle likes to use his hands a lot. Can you understand that? So mm -hmm. I feel like it would have been with gardening. It would have been with hair. It would have been with a lot of creativity. It would have also been with I feel like food for some reason. Can you understand mm -hmm. getting into food or yep. cooking? Or he told me how to cook. Oh, oh, he told you how to cook. Okay, good. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Move forward now. Okay. Um, I want to go through some messages now and see what I'm going to, to tell you here before I have um, someone knocking on the door already. Okay. Um, I feel that you're someone with a very large heart. Can you understand that? Um, and that you give a lot to people, but I feel like sometimes the reciprocation does not come back to you in twofold. Can you understand that? Mm hmm 100%. Okay. All right. Because I am getting the feeling that you give, you give, you give. Not in that way. But you mm -hmm. give, you give, and give. Okay? And oh. you, don't, <laughs> you don't always... <laughs> you don't always get back. So I just want to acknowledge that everything that you're giving and everything that you're doing is not going unseen. Okay, mm -hmm. and it's not going uh, like in vain or anything. Okay, yeah. just that it will come back to you. Okay, um, mm -hmm. how's that flower? How's that flower holding? I, I mean, she's like hanging on to like six hairs, just like <laughs> flapping her ass. <laughs> Do you want to fix her? Let's take a fixing moment. <laughs> oh, even without the flower, she's gorgeous. It's still gorgeous. <laughs> and again, and again, let's uh, reference the wig is for sale. <laughs> yes, wigs for sale. Hold on one second. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I'll be right there. I'm right here, I promise. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I can hear you. I can hear you. It's nice. It's like, you know. Pay no curtain. attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you look gorgeous. So, gorgeous. Okay. Let's go I can't on. have no accessories in my hair. No. Okay. Let's put the accessory and we'll take a, a five minute break for this. Mm. I love this. I love this. This <sighs> is great live. Yeah, this is good. This is good stuff. Okay. Oh, Whew, I don't feel so naked. <laughs> you feel so complete now. <laughs> okay. So now um, she's been banging on the door for a while. So we have grandma coming through. So I just want to understand um, and, and just confirm grandma is in spirit, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, she's been coming through since yesterday. I want to say that this woman would have been extremely lively, very energetic. She would have really good spirit. And I do want to say that also when she was younger, she would have presented herself somewhat very fashionable or in her eyes, she would have felt that she was fashionable. Can you understand oh, that? I'm sure she did. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, would you understand? Uh, okay, I'm getting just a little bit of an image here of her. I feel that she would have had short hair. Yeah. Okay. Would her hair have been darker in younger age and then she would have went for fully white yeah. towards her older? Okay. All right. So she is with us. Okay. So I feel like she's someone that would have enjoyed spending time. Um, I always see her sitting down. I don't know why she, did she sit down a lot? Cause I always feel like she sat down a lot. I always see her sitting down. I mean, she like, she definitely like never wanted to sit down. Like she was that one, but like, you know, some of my greatest memories were like laying on her lap and like, while okay. she there, or like her at, the, her at the kitchen table. Like we would sit together all okay. the time. Okay, because I do feel like the kitchen was very important to her. Can you understand that she would have spent a lot of time in the kitchen? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So she's coming through, first of all, with um, a message of, um, it, I want to say like, it's like never stop celebrating who you are as an individual, continue to live your life and go the way that you are, okay? Um, She's coming through with a lot of gratitude. And I want to say that she's also acknowledging the fact that she's known that this was you since you were very young. Can you understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I almost want to say, is it funny, but would you have, this is quite funny. Would you have actually um, dressed up in her clothing at certain times? Because I just feel like you would have 
put on like a show for her or you would have worn things and she would have laughed or caught you. Yeah, like, there's okay. There's literally a photo of me um in her bra, like and I'm like, oh, like oh, God. ten or something. Okay. Okay. Um She's she's just acknowledging the fact that she's like I I knew like I knew I just knew like from day one like it's gonna be fine. Yeah. Um, I feel that the connection between the two of you was extremely strong. I feel like you looked up to her tremendously. You saw her almost as a mother figure. Mm -hmm, definitely. Okay. Um, she always um, I feel like she never judged you. Is what she's saying. She always applauded you for what you did okay yeah. commends you um she also commends the strength that you have as an individual she knows life was not easy for you just with your whole entire life growing up the unconventional way of living and then also growing up in the school system and just learning to deal as an individual in yeah. general okay so she's coming through again with a lot of strength for you okay and a lot of um like acknowledgement for uh, like respect for who you are now as a person. She is with you every day, just so you understand that. She is telling me she's with you every day. Um, she applauds you. She's almost like a cheerleader for you in the background. So it's like every time she's saying, every time he goes on, every time he does something, I'm with him in the background supporting him. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why this is coming to me again. Um, I want to, I just want to reference the month of April. I feel like the month of April is significant for her. Can you understand why she's mentioning the month of April to me? Her birthday. Okay. All right. So she is acknowledging that. Um, and would you understand towards the end that you would have been someone that would have been with her even towards the end? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Cause um, she's also acknowledging the fact that you stood by her side all the way to the end. All right. Mm -hmm. And that, She never felt alone is almost like what I'm getting. So she wants you to understand she never felt alone because of you. So there's just definitely a connection there that you had with her. Um, I almost want to say towards the end, she was very, very fragile. You had to be careful with how you went in or were around her. Can you understand that? It's yep. like, I feel, I feel like almost like with COVID, how we have to be super protected when we go around yeah. people. I feel the same situation with your grandmother. Yeah, she, she had Mercer. Okay. She got Mercer from a surgery. And okay. From it. So I had to like go in with them, um, you know, like gloves and the whole, okay, the whole thing. And I, and I did, and I refused to wear them. <laughs> of course I you did. <laughs> because she's coming through with, with, um, again, with the COVID reference. I just wanted to. Um, yeah, it was very COVID. Very like that situation where you got to be protected. You got to be like the mask, the gloves yep. and all that. Okay. And I want to also say that um, it caught people off guard is what she's saying. Like she went in for a surgery. No one ever really knew that this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. It kind of just caught people off guard. Um, people were kind of like, oh my God, now what? And then, yeah. you know, now we're in this situation. So, yeah. it, okay. Because she is also um, acknowledging the fact that, uh, but she is, um, She wants to say, though, that whatever, um, if you feel that anything may have not been said to her, it's been said to her already, like, in your thoughts or in your, because I feel like you talk to her at certain times. Can you understand that? So I do feel like you call upon her, you talk to her. So anything that you, um, she's just saying, anything you feel like may have not been said, she's like, don't worry about it. I've, yeah. I've heard it. I'm, I'm I here. didn't, I actually didn't go to her funeral. You didn't okay. go, okay. All right, because, all right, so that's explaining why she's saying that. Okay, so she wants you to understand not to feel any regret or not to feel like you did something wrong, okay, because of that. There's like nothing coming on from the other side where she is angry or mad, okay? She mm -hmm. wants you to fully understand that she loves you, okay, and that she understands the reasons, you know, um, Okay, I, I, she's also saying that she's telling me, okay, do you beat yourself up over this a little bit? Do you, ha I feel like you have some regret over the situation. I definitely wish I was there, but okay. I couldn't really just right. see her like that. I understand, okay. Oh, you got me leaking. <laughs> <laughs> that goes to makeup. 
I'm doing my job then. I'm doing uh, my job. Uh, <laughs> girls! <laughs> Just like a greeting. <laughs> Hold on one second. I need a little tissue. <laughs>